My name is Pete Moore. I'm Service Initiatives Director with the Ohio Association of County Boards of Developmental Disabilities. I'm also a member of the Employment First Advisory Committee. I'm here today to speak in support of the Employment First Initiative and to ask for your support and commitment in creating new job opportunities for people with developmental disabilities in Ohio. Almost a year ago to the day, Governor Kasich signed his Employment First Executive Order which dictates that community employment is now the preferred employment option for people with developmental disabilities in Ohio. Today, thanks to Employment First, it is now presumed that all people with developmental disabilities should work in their communities. This represents a fundamental shift in the way we think about jobs for the people we serve. It is a welcome shift and long overdue. But, the Employment First Initiative is just, it's not just about a job. It's about having the opportunity for people with disabilities to live a full and productive life, a good life. We want people with developmental disabilities to have the same opportunities as their non-disabled peers who do not face the same challenges in obtaining meaningful employment. County boards are committed to expanding our community employment programs because we see their value. Part of my job at the association is to manage the Bridges to Transition program. Bridges is a collaborative agreement between 39 county boards of DD and the Rehabilitation Services Commission. This collaborative effort is serving 1,400 young people between the ages of 14 and 22 across Ohio. This program has taught us a lot about what it takes to help people be successful in their communities. We have educated young people, their parents and families, about the high level of commitment it takes to find and maintain a job. We have found qualified providers, job developers, and job coaches to integrate key work habits into these young people's daily routines. We have had groundbreaking conversations about benefits planning so individuals can maintain baseline of critical uh, Medicaid funding and Social Security while still being able to work in their communities. We have developed collaborative relationships with local schools to guarantee these changes become a part of the new normal and not just a fading trend. We have sought input from and partnered, we have sought input from and partnered with Ohio's businesses so that young people will be able to find receptive employers once they are ready to enter the workforce. These lessons that we've learned through the Bridges program have to be replicated in every community across the state of Ohio. When it comes to House Bill 59, in order to make employment, the Employment First Initiative a success, we need your support in this budget. County boards of DD have already invested a significant amount of time and money to create sustainable employment programs in Ohio. We are committed for the long term and need additional support from the state of Ohio to continue this important work. Employment First language in House Bill 59 requires county boards to develop policies and procedures that will move more people with developmental disabilities into the workforce. County boards and local providers will have to ensure that adequate long-term supports are in place for these individuals so they can work towards independence without fear. Employment First will take collaboration of many partners at the state and local level. County boards, providers, employers, chambers of commerce, school districts, and together, and elected officials must all work together for this effort, effort to succeed. By focusing on the abilities, strengths, and hopes and dreams, hopes and dreams is something we don't often talk about. We talk a lot about one's needs, but not about hopes and dreams. All of the people we're serving, and, and by using it, the, the tools that we have at our disposal. Together we can make community employment a reality for the people with developmental disabilities in Ohio. Today marks an important step in that journey. You and I and the people in this room have the future of Employment First initiative in our hands and we need your help. We're asking today that you provide more resources to Ohio's County Boards of DD for their community employment programs by strengthening the newly created Employment First line item. While we appreciate the funds currently allotted for this effort, we will do all we can with these funds to achieve our goals. 
It will now take more to get this Employment First initiative far enough down the path towards sustainability than is currently appropriate. Thank you for your time, and I'll be uh, more than happy to take questions if you have. Thank you. Any questions? Thank you. Thank you so much.